Hey, Kelly Staggs here with American Irrigator, trying to make you a better irrigator. And today I'm going to show you a good example of an installation of a one inch double check. Let me show you something. What we have here is a one inch double check installed uh, today, and it's uh, per specs and uh, by the rules of the state of Texas, because that's where we are at. And so, as you can see here, we've got our shutoff valve, isolation valve that goes before the double check. I've also got our wire strainer here. I like to use the brass wire strainers because they're actually rated to be under pressure. Those plastic, cheap old plastic ones you use for drip fittings are not good to use in this application. Guys, spend the extra money, get the brass one. I used all Schedule 80 nipples and things to put it all together. Uh, sometimes I'll use a brass nipple in between the two brass pieces here. Uh, but we've got our wire strainer there. We've got our double check here move over here and we do have our master valve all put in here now we we like to do it where you've got the box that's turned upside down underneath there so you it keeps all the dirt from going underneath it you've got good clearance uh, underneath there and then we'll set that other box on top of it and we'll tape all around the edges make sure it's all secure and uh, you've got a good enclosure for that double check and so it's we've got the test cocks facing up so the guys can uh, test it very easily We've got plenty of room to uh, for our shutoff valves there and everything. So this is a the, this is a pretty good setup. This is how you want to do it, and uh, this is how we like to do it. But uh, by the state of Texas, this is the setup right here. This is what you've got to have. So good luck, you guys. I hope this is a good example to show you. If you want to know what it looks like, installation of a one-inch double check.